This video is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm just going to breeze right through it. You want to start by making sure the mobile device is connected to the Wi-Fi of the scanner. Then you can just go through your settings. These are all the settings I use here. Once it's connected and loaded, simply make your adjustments and do the scanning as normal. The turntable here is connected to my phone and it's just set to spin. The app is available for download on the other site. It's called RC Turntable, I believe. It's only for Android, however. Here I just simply rotated the part, laid it on its side so I can get more scanning to capture it fully. I stopped the scan as this was enough. Then you simply hit the post processing. I sped this up a little bit, but I think it only took about a minute. Now we'll transfer the model to the PC. And as you can see, it failed. Don't make my mistake. Remember to disconnect from the scanner's Wi-Fi and connect to the Wi-Fi that your computer is also connected to. So we'll go ahead and do it again. And now it's transferring to the computer. I'll switch over to the computer and capture that side. And this is how the scan comes in when it's imported. Most of the time the quality is not as good and you can't do too much with it because it's already a mesh model. You can click through and go up to raw. That gives you the raw frames that you can remesh and then you can start editing. And this sped up the processing also, but I believe it took about three minutes to fuse. As you can see, these are all the dots there on the turntable. We'll just use the isolation tool to go ahead and remove those. Then we'll just go into the meshing settings. I'll just use what's default right here, but I'll turn on hole fill. And I sped that up also. I think that was about two or three minutes. And here's the comparison, the mobile app fuse versus the fuse that was done on the PC app. 